In this quick lesson, I'll show you how to find the maturity of a loan. The maturity value is the total amount of money due by the end of a loan period. Now, of course, if someone were to loan you money, they're expecting perhaps some interest in return. So the maturity value is how much they loaned you plus the interest earned by the end of that period. So if you have the principal amount and the interest, all you do is add them up. Question one reads, Marcus can purchase furniture on a two-year simple interest loan at 9% interest per year. What is the maturity value for a $2,500 loan? Here's what we do. This right here is the principal. The maturity value is equal to the principal plus the principal times the rate as a decimal. In our case, it's 9%, so it will be 0 0.09. I'll just write down R for now times the time, which in our case is two years. This is 9% interest per year, so we don't need to convert this number in any way. We just replace this T with two. Next, we will replace everything. So P is 2,500 plus 2,500 times the rate, which is 9%, 0 0.09 times two. Using our calculator, 2,500 plus 2,500 times 0 0.09 times two. We end up with 2,950, 2,950. If you do not have a scientific calculator, you would want to evaluate the number here first and then sum that up with 2,500. So this right here is the maturity value. Moving on to question two, Jim will invest $3,000 at 8% for 60 months. Notice the difference here. This time, they give us time, but it's in months. What is the maturity value of the investment? We'll use the same formula that we derived, MV is equal to 3,000 plus 3,000 times the rate 0 0.08. That's a percentage per year. Whereas the timing here is in months. We need to change months into years. That's not hard to do. We'll take 60 months. And remember that there are 12 months in a year. So I'll put down this rate, one year per every 12 months. So 60 divided by 12 is five. The units cancel out. 60 divided by 12 is five. Using our calculator, 3,000 plus 3,000, make sure that's in parentheses, times 0 0.08 times five. And that gives us 4,200. So if he invests 3,000 for 60 months at 8%, this is what he will have at the very end. So he will have earned $1,200 from the start point of 3,000. We learned a very valuable lesson here that the units need to match these units. This is per year and this is months. They need to match in order for you to be successful with these types of calculations. And there you have it. That is how to find the maturity of a loan.